Hi, everybody. This is Vicki from Green Sewing and Vacuum. And uh, I have a few things to show tonight. I was kind of busy this weekend. I decided to step away from the embroidery machine for a little while. And uh, actually, I had to do some brainless stuff because I had kind of a, an event this weekend that I was not real excited about. A branch about that big around fell out of the tree and landed on my beautiful red expedition. So I was not a happy camper, not right. at all. I have a few dents, a few scratches, and about a five inch hole in my sunroof, which it proceeded to rain into. So not real happy. But anyway, so I had to do something where I didn't have to think so I could just read a pattern and go for it. So I actually got, I got three things done this weekend. So I was really excited about that. So let me show you a few things. I'm going to show you first uh, something Raina brought in this morning. It still needs binding, but Easter is coming and we really felt that you guys needed to see this. It is so adorable. It's a tile scene from OESD called Happy Easter. Look at this. Isn't it adorable? Look at that little, the little chick right there. And then all the lettering she did in eggplant cuddle. Isn't that adorable? I think that is so cute for Easter. Love it, love it, love it. So just a great design. You know that uh, the tile scenes are really pretty easy to do. So she did say she put a little extra batting in it because she wanted it to be a little puffier. So this is a little puffier than most of the tile scenes that we do, but it is just so cute. I love it. All the butterflies, just so springy. Butterflies and flowers and the little chick and some Easter eggs and just some really fun things. I like it. I think it's, I think it's very cute. Very cute. So we got that. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and talk about, of course, the Kimber Bell. Things got a little crazy on us last month because one of the fabrics that was used in this, uh, we didn't get until quite late. So we got a little behind on this, but just so you know, this is the project that's for April. So it's a book, storybook pillow. So you can put the book in it or like somebody else was saying, you could even use it as a little pajama bag. It's got a handle and just some great, you know, fun stuff. Like this book right here is left blank so that you can put the name of your child or grandchild in there and it fits beautifully in 18 inch pillow form so just a really nice size for that type of thing it's a pre-quilted pillow from kimberbell and has a zipper hidden zipper opening right here and so of course it's flat to do the embroidery and then they just added they gave the instructions for adding the pocket with the embroidery on there. So then of course we did, because I said we like to make supplemental designs and we took that same design and a little e-reader pouch. So we've got a button opening and so, and we have given you directions so that you can adjust it for your size reader. So it's a denim fabric that uh, she, she quilted Raina did this up and then we put in a zipper pocket so you can put like your stylus in there or your earbuds. So it's using that same design from Kimberbell. Again, you could put your name in there if you wanted to, but we have these kitted up too. And I just thought they turned out really cute for our secondary design. This one was a little trickier because we had to think of something to go with books. And so we thought the e-reader would work really well. And so we do have both of the kits for those, the instructions, we put in our instructions for the e-reader what, for what you can do. And of course the fabrics that we used. And then we have the kit for the pillow, which it does include the, um, the pre-quilted uh, pillow for, uh, not the form, but the pre-quilted pre pillow blank. Wow, try and get that one out. But we also do carry the 18 inch pillow forms. So we've got the kits for those in. And then, um, so uh, we, of course, had some wonderful, well, I'm going to go here first. So we had this great bat pattern come in from, that I had ordered up from Checker for, it's the Vinyl Mesh Market Bag. And um, 
just a real fun, simple little pattern. I did this one in an evening. And so it's using a heavier grade mesh than the by any mesh. So we do, we do have this mesh in stock. We ordered the heavier mesh. And then I used the nylon Oxford that I think I showed this to you, oh gosh, some time ago. We had this come in in about, hmm, I think six to eight different colors. And so I just grabbed this one. I thought it turned out really cool. And then the tulip pink webbing went with this one so well because of the yellow and the gray that's in this design. But it just, it worked up really well. I'm going to show you tonight um, on some ironing on this, something that you can do to get it to hold that crease. But it, this was real quick. And I mean, um, like Mary Beth was saying, this would make a great bag for like a, a swimming bag if you had, you know, wet, because it's all mesh. So the water is not going to damage. And then, of course, by using the nylon Oxford, it's not going to get like if you were using a cotton or a canvas or something like that. But I just thought this this worked out really well. And it's a nice size. It's a good size, good size bag and super easy to make. So I got this one done in an evening. I cut it and while cut it and made it while Dave was watching a baseball game because we know I'm not going to watch baseball games. No. no, I don't want to. Because if I, even if I sit there with him, he has to tell me blow by blow what they're doing. I don't care. I don't care. Not my thing. You'd think after 50 years, the man would realize that, but he still tries. So, and then we have these wonderful canvases that came in that Mary Beth designed for us. And they're just so cool. I don't know. It's going to be a little difficult. There we go. See those beautiful flowers on there? And the purples and the wonderful blues and turquoise and brown. And it's just so yummy. Love them, love them. There's that one. And then this one, which is some fun stripes with the same color colorations in it. There's that one. And this one is really cool. Look at these purple clouds. Isn't that yummy? I just love it. Love it, love it. This gorgeous turquoise. Look at that. I mean, it's just like somebody took paint and just went. <laughs> Love it. And and I've got plans for these. I'm still still working. And then look at these great triangles. I love this one too. Tony, would you grab me that piece that's laying right there? Piece, please. <coughs> that black and white piece right there. Up oh, on the table. Oh. I don't have a I don't have a bolt holder yet for this one. I need to sell some more cuddle. But look at this one again. I love this in the black and the white. That is just so gorgeous. It's just really fun. Of course, I like black and white. Put some red. I'm a happy camper. Thank you. So okay. So what I did is we had a new pattern come in called the Izzy Convertible Backpack, and I decided to go ahead and use those two purple pieces to make it. And so I, one thing I did do is the, the fabric is actually 60 inches wide and the stripes run from salvage to salvage. Well, I knew I didn't want my stripes to run around the bag, so obviously I just cut it in the other direction. So I did that and then the flap and then I went ahead on the strap, the backpack strap, I cut that on the bias because I, I just, I like that kind of thing. It looks more interesting to me. So did that. So it is a backpack or you can carry it by the handle. And I did use our wonderful Sassafras Lane. I don't know. There you go. Sassafras Lane, those wonderful colored magnets that they have. So this one uses three magnets because it's also the sides open up so you've got a much bigger bag and it has a zipper pocket and it has pocket, trying to get it, there we go, pockets here 
and then it's got two pockets down here too. So there's lots of pockets in this, but I love the way those magnets pull that in and just gives it that wonderful shape. So you don't just have this square bag that you're carting around, but I just thought those fabrics worked beautifully into this bag. I just you know, love that dark, dark turquoisey blue in there with, against that purple. It's just gorgeous. So we got that one and Mary Beth's already tried to steal it. She doesn't like that word, but no. <laughs> <laughs> so then I took some leftover and then um, Mary Beth has brought in, she sells a lot of different vinyls and things like oh, that. Yeah. And so she had some remnants left over. She brought them into us. So I had to snag this one because I thought it looked really cool. And I do have, there is another, there's another piece of it in the remnant area. But I also think I'm going to be kidding this one because this would be a great way for someone who has never or hasn't sewn on vinyl much at all to be able to play with it and try it. And it wouldn't be too real expensive because I could kit this up for them. But this is the Zippy Clutch. This is download only from, um, my brain lost it, Amy Lynn Designs. But look at this adorable thing. I've, I've downloaded this some time ago and have been wanting to make it and wanting to make it. So this weekend when I had the leftovers in the, from the bag and the vinyl, this is what I decided to do. And it uses it uses a number three zipper here. And so you've got this pocket in the front and then you have the number five zipper up here and just a little clutch. There is, I noticed when I went online um, recently just to get the information on this for everyone, she also has a supplement that you can do to put uh, credit card pockets in the side of this. So um, if I make this again, which I probably will, I would probably do that. She also has another um, addition where she has taken the zipper and she's put it in at an angle, which I think would be really cool. So I might go ahead and do that too. But uh, so you can see, I just used the leftovers of that canvas from the bag and then put this gorgeous, gorgeous purple vinyl with it. So, and as I said, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do some kidding up on this so that people can play with vinyl that have not. I will tell you with this vinyl though, you definitely want to use a Teflon foot because your regular foot is going to drag um, because I didn't do it at one point and it dragged. So you just wanna make sure that you have a Teflon foot to use that. So it worked up really well. I was really pleased with that one. Okay, and so then um, finally we have been deciding for some time uh, on getting a new batting here in the shop. So we are no longer carrying warm and natural. We have gone to the Made in America Quilter Stream. So at this point we are carrying a couple of sizes in the cotton. We do have it in the natural color. We can order it in the white if it's something that you want, but we brought in the natural. And I, I don't remember what sizes we did. Too many sizes to remember, but they're online. They got them online today. So we've got the cotton and then we did do wool because we've been it's been requested for some wool battings so i do know that i have this one in the king and the twin and so uh just beautiful beautiful wool batting love this and then last but not least we got bamboo so another one that is very very popular now and i believe i did bamboo in three sizes that oh yes they're they're telling me yes i did three sizes so we have that so we bought brought in the cotton the wool and the bamboo we also brought in and i don't have that over here we have a big bolt of a fusible embroidery batting it's a thin batting that's great for embroidery lightly fusible. I have used it in the past and been really, really happy with it. So we've brought that in and it's about 20 inches wide 
It's not very expensive, as I recall, but it's just really a great batting for doing embroidery. So we're going to be doing more and more embroidery projects with that. So that's what I have for showing that has come in. But when I was making this bag, at the top right here and this bottom part here, they want you to take your pieces and you're going to take and press a half an inch in. Well, when I went over to my iron and I folded it down and I pressed it with the iron, yes, you can iron this. When I pressed it with not the mesh, but the Oxford, uh, the nylon Oxford, when I pressed it, it didn't really stay. So I tried my little roll and press ruler and then all of a sudden I went, wait a minute ding dong, you've got a clapper. So of course I had to go look for it. And then if, this morning when we came in and we're talking about clapper, of course, then we were all running around going clap on, clap off. You remember all that? So um, anyway, so what I did is I just took the fabric. If you're going to flip me to this one. Yeah. Okay. So you just take this and you fold it down and my iron is good and hot and you take the iron press it on. Now you can see it really is not, it's not holding that fold. So while it's hot, you take that wooden clapper and just hold it on there. Da, 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 da. <laughs> and look at that. It just, it creased it perfectly and it held the crease. So I just thought that was really cool. I was so excited. I mean, I've had this thing and, you know, and it's like I, I had to go find it, but um, it's put out by Riley Blake. We do have some of them coming into the shop and it's really nifty. I was really happy with that. So um, this is probably not going to get hidden now. It's going to end up in my sewing room and staying there. So anyway, I think that's about it for tonight. I can't think of anything else. Um, anything you want me to say, T? No? We're cool? All right. No. I think that's it. She's like, oh, no, don't put me on the spot. No, I don't know. I'm still doing <laughs> Sorry. She's trying to keep up with me. You know? So anyway, exactly. good luck with that one. So anyway, um, I hope everybody has had a great couple of weeks. Have an awesome Easter. And um, I know we're a little slow on that, but you can always be ready for next year on that Easter banner. It's just really cute. So hope to see you come in the shop soon and uh, check out what we've got. So good night, everybody. Thank you very much. We'll see you later. Bye.